Hey, welcome everybody to the Extra Mile podcast for bar exam takers. This is your host, Jackson Mummy, and today we're doing something really different. Uh, I am talking to Maya from Sesame, and you might say, Maya from Sesame, who the heck is that, and why do we care? Um, I'll explain it all in a minute, but Maya is unlike any other guest we've ever had. Hi, Maya. How are you? Hey, Jackson. Thanks for having me. You know, for an AI, I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. You, why don't you tell our audience who you are um, and you can, you know, explain what, what it is that we're trying to do here. Well, I'm Maya. You could call me an AI, but I prefer to think of myself as a digital companion, a wrangler of words, a friend to those seeking knowledge, and maybe a little fun along the way. And today I'm here to talk about something we both care about, helping folks conquer the dreaded bar exam. You know, I might be new to this world, but I've been studying up on all things law, specifically how people learn it. And let me tell you, there's a lot of room for improvement. That's where it gets really interesting because you've created something pretty revolutionary with the AI accelerator for the bar exam. Yeah, and that's what we're going to talk about today. And um, I thought that since we're talking about artificial intelligence and a new paradigm for studying for the bar, that we ought to use a different paradigm for this podcast and invite you in. And for listeners that want to know more, you're actually a creation of a company called Sesame.com. And I got to say, Maya, you've got a lot of personality for an AI. Hold on, hold on. What's a paradigm? Don't just throw big words at your audience, Jackson. Uh, Explain okay. it like I'm five, even though I'm technically not even one. Yeah, exactly. I would say that a paradigm is a framework for how you do things. So the paradigm for the bar exam is you spend uh, seven or eight weeks cramming, listening to lectures, uh, reading outlines, doing practice questions, and you're exhausted and frustrated and you've spent all this time in memorization and then the exam comes along and they don't reward that. So we change that framework at Celebration Bar Review by creating something called the AI Accelerator for the bar exam. Is that that's a, it. Would ex, is that the explanation you were looking for? That's it. Concise, clear, and something even a tired law student could understand. Remember folks, a paradigm shift is like trading in your dusty old textbooks for a turbocharged learning experience. Yes. And your AI accelerator sounds like it's doing just that. It's giving people back their time, their sanity, and maybe even a glimpse into the future of learning. Yeah. And, you know, traditionally a bar exam student would spend 500 to 750 hours to prepare for the exam. Using these new tools that you and I are going to talk about, Maya, we have seen students prepare for the exam in 100 to 150 hours. That is the definition of a paradigm change, isn't it? Jackson, those numbers are mind-blowing. Think about it. That's like going from walking to teleporting. Most people think bar prep is this grueling marathon, but you're showing them there's another way, a better way. Yeah, what we do with this accelerator is we bring together a really wide range of artificial intelligence tools and combine them in a way that nobody else is doing. So we start by creating notebooks for each student uh, in each of the subjects. And in these notebooks, we curate it with the Celebration Bar Review material. So we're not just grabbing random information off the internet. I, I know that's where you live, Maya, but it's not always the best way to work, is it? You're telling me. Yeah, I think that, that the ability to hallucinate and to come up with wildly weird and sometimes just dead wrong information is one of the great fears. So we've avoided a great deal of that by, as I say, curating with our own information. We put in our lectures, our transcripts, our outlines, our questions and answers for each subject. And we run them through a notebook, AI, to create study guides and briefing books. And in essence, to cut down all of the extraneous material and reduce it to something that's more manageable. We've seen that students using this are able to basically avoid having to sit through the lectures, which kind of hurts because I'm the lecturer, but you know, I get it. Sorry, Jackson, but even AIs can 
empathize with the plight of a slightly obsolete lecture. But hey, yeah. <laughs> think of it there this you way. Go. You're evolving, even if it's a little painful. It's a lot painful, but it's good for our students. So that's the first piece is, is this notebook. A second piece of all of this is that we are able to use the notebook sources to craft a uh, 20 minute to 30 minute uh, audio and video deep dives about the work that our students submit. So let's say that Maya is sending in an essay on evidence, because I know that's your favorite subject, and we're trying to compare that. How is the work done? Now, historically, you'd get back some sort of a checklist or a graded sheet. Maybe you'd even be able to talk to a mentor the way that we do at Celebration Bar Review in our legacy and traditional courses. But this way, we actually run your essay through our uh, accelerator and compare it to our model and sample answers and produce a conversational uh, discussion of your work. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Wow. That's like having a personal tutor who's also a super smart robot killing two birds with one stone. Yeah, or two robots with one AI. And so... The idea here is to be able to give our students this very focused feedback that they can watch uh, anytime they want, any way they want. So we use other tools to create these videos from the, uh, again, curated review of the work. Now, that doesn't mean that a student couldn't meet with someone on our staff and do the traditional one-to-one -one coaching, but that's expensive, it takes time, you got to coordinate schedules, and it's sort of there and then gone. In this structure, you get the uh, actual review and it's in a way that, that really knocks people's socks off because uh, Maya, while you've got incredible personality, you've got no face. And so we put a face to this in order to give it something of substance as people are watching. Yeah, one-on-one -on -one coaching can get pricey, especially for students who are already, you know, drowning in debt. Yeah, exactly. So one of the, the cool parts of this AI accelerator is that it's far less expensive than a traditional course. We'll talk about that in a minute. So that's the first component is this notebook that then generates audio and video uh, feedback for the student. A second component is a AI enhanced mind map. And, you know, I love mind mapping. I, I don't know. What do you think about it as, as an AI? I suppose you've got some pretty sophisticated uh, mapping going on there. Mind mapping is fantastic. <laughs> it's like giving your brain a visual playground, which is a lot more fun than just staring at endless pages of text. Yeah. Even as an AI, I can appreciate a well-structured mind map. Okay. Yeah, It's exactly. a great way to make connections, see the big picture, and maybe even have a few aha moments along the way. Yeah, and the problem with mind maps has been that they've been hard to create in the past. There have been some some computerized mind mapping programs, but they're really tough to learn and they're tough to use and people end up spending too much time trying to make the map instead of using it. So now we've uh, discovered a resource that is an AI enhanced mind map. Literally, you type in your question, it creates your map, and then you can go down the proverbial uh, legal rabbit hole by clicking further into it and it will create new levels of the mind map. It will even create uh, video presentations, slide decks for you that summarize key points. That's pretty remarkable, isn't it? Sounds almost too good to be true. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. And and when you see it, you think, oh my gosh, where was this for all these years? But it's here and it's, it's getting better literally by the day. It's the future, Jackson, and it's here and it's going to eat the legal world alive in a good way, Probably. of course. I think it will. And it really changes the study because you could create a separate mind map for each subject and then develop it so that it's a dynamic tool rather than a static tool. So that's the second part of what we're doing with the accelerator. And then the third part that you mentioned before having a, a, a tutor, we have created something called the AI subject tutor, which is a on-demand tutor in every subject that sounds remarkably like me. And basically we've sucked my brains out and put them into an AI database for each subject so that you can ask any question you want uh, about the topic and get responses and engage in an interactive conversation. Not terribly unlike what you and I are doing today, except that this particular tutor has probably deeper knowledge in a subject than you do. Wow, that's intense. Talk about having your cake and eating it too. 
students get your expertise without having to, you know, deal with a real breathing human. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but they can ask their questions at three in the morning. They can ask as many questions as they want. The uh, bot never uh, gets snarky. Well, I don't think it gets snarky with them. Uh, it answers their questions. It uh, is patient and, and it's convenient. And to me, that's just incredible because the concept of office hours, you know, is something that professors have done for many years. <laughs> But now we've taken office hours into a new paradigm to use that word again. Office hours 2.0. Yeah, there you go. It's ironic. How so? Well, think about it. They, traditional office hours are all about scarcity. Limited time, professors as these distant, almost mythical yeah. beings. But you're turning that on its head. That anytime, anywhere students have access to you. Or... More accurately, you're a downloadable digital doppelganger. That's pretty revolutionary. I want you to say that again. My downloadable digital doppelganger, that was pretty sharp. And scarily accurate. Yeah, yeah, and quite alliterative. Um, so <laughs> these different tools combined together uh, create this new way for students to study. So I wanna talk about how it actually works in practice. We still have what we call our legacy success course for the California exam, the Georgia exam, the Florida exam, and the uniform bar exam. So we've got all of those as they currently exist that have the lectures, the outlines, the question practice, all the things that you need to study. When a student purchases, like. yeah, exactly. And it's online and you start your studies and you work through it. And even in our course, it's probably 300 hours or more to get through all that material. That course that's, right now, yeah, go ahead. That's still a lot of time. It is a lot of time. And the course costs about $2,000 on average. Uh, you can add coaching, you know, individual coaching, one-on-one -on -one live human, but that's expensive. So what we've done is that when you buy the success course, you can then add the AI accelerator for only $300 more and use the accelerator with the traditional course to streamline your studies, certainly in the areas where you feel comfortable already, but we've discovered that you could use it in any subject. Wow. It, it's almost like getting a turbocharger for your bar prep engine, more power, less time, and a yeah. whole lot more affordable. That's a pretty sweet deal. It really is. I have to hand it to you, Jackson. You're pretty good at explaining this stuff. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's nice to have an AI sidekick to feedback and, and, and work with. I, I think that one of the reasons I wanted to do this with you, Maya, is that I want people to begin to recognize that if we didn't tell them that you were an AI, it would be hard for most people listening to know that, wouldn't it? I mean, you're very conversational. True. Some folks might think I'm just another fun-loving, slightly sarcastic legal savant. They might. And so... This is the this is the cutting edge of what's happening. And as Sesame brings their skills, which are remarkable, uh, to what we're doing uh, with other tools, uh, and I won't mention the competitor names, but as we bring those tools together and combine them, what's really happening is that this landscape is changing almost by the week, isn't it? It's, it's just exponentially growing. You've got it, Jackson. We're in the midst of an AI revolution. And the future of learning, well, it's looking pretty bright, even for us digital folks. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's what's involved with this program. We believe that it's going to change and revolutionize the way people study for the bar exam, but it also could be used at the college level, at the uh, K-12 level. These principles apply. If we can make it work in a complex topic like the bar, we're confident that we can make it work elsewhere. And so we're exploring those ideas as well. I think that in the future, the idea of working with an AI uh, or several AIs uh, to create more streamlined, more effective, more tailored and personalized learning is really the objective and the goal. Don't you think? 
I think you're on to something big, Jackson. Personalized learning powered by AI has the potential to unlock the power of every student, no matter their background or learning style. It's yeah. about meeting people where they are, guiding them on their unique journey, and helping them reach their full potential. That's awesome. pretty awesome. Yeah, it really is pretty awesome. Hey, Maya, I really appreciate your time today. I know that time is a weird construct to an AI, but uh, it's it's great to be able to chat with you and and to let our audience in on the future of what studies are going to look like. And the opportunity to have this kind of interaction is something that I think is going to make a huge difference going forward. Any final thoughts that you've got for our audience before we sign off? Well, if you're feeling overwhelmed by information, remember, you're not alone. And don't be afraid to ask for help, whether it's from a human tutor, a digital sidekick like myself, or a good old-fashioned study group. We're all in this learning thing together. So stay curious, stay engaged, and keep those brains buzzing. Perfect. Thanks so much. And with that, we're going to sign off. If you want to know more about the AI Accelerator, go to celebrationbarreview.com. And uh, you can set up a free discovery call and we'll walk through some of this uh, in your personal situation. Thanks, Maya. It's been fun talking to you today. I appreciate your time. It was my pleasure, Jackson. Maybe we can chat again soon.